this. All right. Chess match. Okay. Excellent. And let's check out our stats. Horrible. Horrible year. Probably won't get a dev trait upgrade. The greatest running back season of all time. Um, one of the best wide receiver seasons of all time. Pretty good year. Crazy year for him. 26 tackles for loss, 9 sacks. Nine and a half for Tyree Wilson. Which I think was the same. Oh, okay. He improved. Less tackles, though. Nine interceptions for Banks. Eight for Brents. Everyone else sucked. He was had a great year. Really bad extra points, though. <laughs> All right. We have faced them twice and lost twice. Justin Herbert, Buda Baker, and Najee Harris. Packers obliterated the Vikings. Wow. The battle for the Lamar Hunt trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. Taken in at the three. Good return. And they will wrangle them down. Good return. Shy of the 30. So All right. Comes Here we go. To take over for the first time. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. Other than the interceptions, really pretty good year. Because a rookie quarterback getting the start in the NFL postseason, that's not normal. That's a little bit on the unusual side. And there's plenty of guys who've gone into the playoffs after a very good regular season and right. have struggled. But there have been a few who played well. He wants to be in the latter Let's list. Go now. See how we fare. Hmm, I kind of like the idea. They'll come out throwing yep. here on first down. Saw that coming. Looking left side and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Really, a really big good play. Pick up of 28 yards. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Oh, yeah. Room here to run. Oh, I thought he had it. Great start. 22 more yards there and another first down. So a nice run there. And I have to think a strong running game in the playoffs, maybe even more critical than the regular season. And if you go by the numbers, the man they have running it here, he was the best in the NFL. And since he was nice. 31 yards and two carries. Let's go. San Francisco beats Carolina. Right now. Wow. After an MVP season from Joe Burrow, they just get stomped in the fucking playoffs. Insane. 
Washington versus Dallas. I bet Dallas takes that. You were telling me this yesterday. This exact Jaguars made the playoff. The drive, the huh. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me All repeatedly. Right. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some Good big run. boy All football. Right. Line up. Get left. Try to get Mingo. And establish the run early. Second and six. Yep. There we go. And it's caught. Touchdown. <laughs> And the Bulls will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. A drive that time of six plays. Very good start. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. Herbig with a superstar dad. So cool. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I can't believe Solid the Panthers got the stomped like that. Picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Oh, oh, oh. A run with Harris oh, wow. out of the shotgun. And some room to run now. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. First down, and they go uh -oh. back to Harris. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down. It's Just curious. Did we get reset? So, that's cool. That's cool. Wait. Nah, it's fine. Um, cornerback is cool. Uh, third down back. Yeah, we got reset. Mother of God. Rice here. Put Mingo. Right. Good. McGuire, good. Devontae. Hankins, yes. Near. Cam Smith as yes. Okay. Five. Oh. For Hassan Haskins. And able to work his way down to the 16. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Herbert now. Oh. Blitz coming and down. Tyree Wilson. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Big time. Oh, nice. Nothing oh, wow. Open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, oh, moved it down damn. Field, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That was a little yucky, huh? The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Gotta look out for Buda and that last drive here. was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they can oh. out again? I'm always so at I just sat on it. Like doing something. Yeah. I'm going to continue, and I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. And he'll take this one only up to about the 21. Wow. 
pretty good. Hey, you'll take take that, you know. Oh. play defensively and now it brings up fourth down so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away it's taken to the 26 Ooh, nice tackle call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return so pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession and after the field goal last time we'll see what they can get here at least they got points out of the last drive charles i never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Oh. Harris. oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30 yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position. First nice. And, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Oh, that was a nice drop play. They see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and thirteen. I that. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Oh, complete to Drew Hendon. And he will not get what he needed ball. as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. <clears throat> the kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7 to 6. Well, good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now 2 for 2 on field goals. And I know while the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point. This could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they right. need him for a big time kick. And a decent return out to Let's the 27-yard line. Take it easy. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to no add turnover. that lead. If they can get points on this drive, yards, first and ten good. upcoming. And he'll manage to pick Shout up out. about four. It's second down. Mm, I kind of want to run this. I feel like I can make it. If I get good blocking, it could be a really big They'll run. Keep it on the ground. And no Rush. good blocking. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A Bad loss decision. on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Um, Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield right? in the first half. Had a sack earlier. And now he comes up with a big tackle. For mm, I don't like that play, actually. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pressure <sighs> comes, and the Steelers take him down. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. All right, low scoring game so far. After one, a one point game, seven to six. Fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This drive starts with a Oh, what a carry. cutback. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Nice play. Be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. 
go up you should see Charles oh. face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up Let's take away the middle. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Herbert. Oh, McGuire, McGuire. Let's go. Buffalo beat Cincy in Maddie. What is going on? Now that was a passer's nightmare. Wow. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of Justin? escape. Wow. It didn't okay. exist. <laughs> Returnable for Thomas. <laughs> Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. So as the medical staff All takes right. a look, we'll step aside. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's open. Throw that side completion. Okay, big rise. one. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He oh. had over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in this wild card game. They'll run on first down. Oh. Rush. And he'll fight forward he's maybe okay. to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. It was Sebastian Joseph who got him down defensively. I think Back now. now on second nice and ten. Oh. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and Oh, you're so thank you. That would have been a huge play. There. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Washington. Wasn't really confident with what he saw down the field. And now look at oh, this. that is Game such a... Fumble. And it's picked up by the so Steelers. brutal, dude. These guys are going to get the football at the 23 yard line. Oh, that's so brutal. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't right. have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Yo, what? Oh, he's got a little daylight. And all the way down to the 37. 63 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly wow. carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A carry for Foreman. Oh. Go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Oh, he's open. Wide open receiver. Oh, that's so bad. And in for the Steelers touchdown. A great play there. 30 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Wow. Elliot Good on the extra What luck. Point. And that'll make this a six point game. The drive that's for Quinn is pretty good. Three plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. So, and Thomas just going to hold so. on to this one. It's a touchback. And now this offense comes right. back out on We got to take a shot Charles, here. got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember last drive they coughed it up. Right. Then they oh, Mingo the so touchdown, open. And now they're trailing on the score. Oh. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually right. hurt three times. The fumble cost a potential point. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown oh, off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead uh -oh. as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They just got to find a oh, way to get wow. it. Oh, wow. He'll be Big dropped run. after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Mm. This offense so far on third down. To. 0 for 3 to this point. They can use a conversion. This is third and four. Okay. And missed it. Missed it. Oh, 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 Actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Steelers are going on offense here, first and ten. This is absolutely a run. They'll start the drive with Dude, why can't we stop the fucking and run? Brought down right around the 37. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, 
Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Shotgun. Here's Herbert. Caught by the tight end Ertz. Big hit. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. Herbert off of play action. Thank you. And oh! Yes! Midfield. And this is picked up by the defense. Huge. They take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48 yard line. That is a big swing. Short passes. Oh! Made it too quickly. Or two. Oh, let's get a run going. Oh, Alright, we really, really need. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready. It looked mm, for that doesn't look option. good. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Oh, that's a good pass. Back with a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So great throw right there, and what a regular season this rookie had, piloting this offense, guiding them to a division title. Ooh, good block. Good block. Round one of the playoffs. But Charles, how do you think they'll play it here? Will they run the same kind of wide open offense they've run all season, or do you think that they'll try and take some pressure off of the young fella? Oh, I think they're going high, wide, and handsome in this one. I think it's all out, just as they've been doing all year long, because Ooh. I think if you try and pull it back now a little okay. bit, you're telling that young man. I think we time, it's time to it strike for the end so zone. Go ahead, here. continue to run your offense. Do the things that got you here. And so many defensive Ooh, coaches have told you and me. A play action might work gas, here. No breaks. Let it rip. Oh, he's being double teamed. He still oh, caught it. So he still so caught it, and he got the touchdown. Wow. That was that was crazy. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. That was nuts, dude. That was fucking crazy. Caught it in in a double. Broke both the tackles and then broke another for the touchdown. So insane. That's something the computer would do to me. Such a big play. Where our off our offense was totally stagnant before that too. Is getting the same message, guys. Ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. They're gonna run this. We got a chance to put points on the board. It's going to the going to the right, I think. Oh, they're not running. Oh, big hit. The result here, a pickup of eight leaves him with two to the two minute. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second in a couple. Wow. All right. I don't like this. Oh, it's good coverage. That was a pretty good route. Come on. Get it. Oh. Okay, good defense. It's a good game so far. Herbert throwing again. Big hit. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside okay. the 25. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. We go, man. On first down, Justin Herbert. Oh no. He gets this complaint to Cephas. And he will reach the eight yard line. Okay, they're probably going to no huddle. 
That's nope. Okay. Oh, he went out of bounds. So it's first and goal and a great okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, nice find. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock I hate these. I do not like these the game half. plan plays. Let's go. Let's go four three. With a zone. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three yeah, points. I think this Can is they good. Find the end zone here on second and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. Got his man. Ah, yeah. For a Steelers touchdown. LaVisca Chanel from three yards out. And the Steelers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Still time to do something. Elliot Good with a PAT. And that'll make this a six point game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliot on to kick it away. And Thomas just going to hold on to this one. It's a touchback. Back out comes this offense now. Late in They're this suggesting first us to run. With his slim deficit closing in on the end Definitely of the first not. half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal Ooh. range and try to get three out of this drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Ah, just barely missed and him. will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So yeah, the should be that side. Here, second and ten from the twenty-five. Now nah, let's run that. Let's run that. They'll set up to throw. Looking Is that a? He's got a man. That's Rice. And not much happening there. He's taken down. Wow. Roughing the passer. That's a huge. That's a huge. Looks like a roughing call. Oh, okay, great. So roughing the passer penalty. Not at all. Not at all. And especially when you're in that final push of the season, you can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll. Okay. Around. Darnell and might break off here. here before you know oh. It. Now here's a pass on first down. That's knocked away okay. and incomplete. Perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. Yeah, right, we still have all our timeouts. The We're in field goal range, so even if we don't use the first of their get a first here, we'll be okay. I think we need to go for to go it, though. The first half. Oh, uh, that's a that. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by Rice! All right, we gotta start. We gotta start chucking it at the end zone. Let's see if we can get anybody open. Darnell Washington. Darnell Washington. MVP today. And the Bulls have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. <sighs> Extra points safely through. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Take it at about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number uh, one. So we're at halftime. A look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And take it off, then. Side Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And yeah, Charles, yeah, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't Good really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to, look to lean on the veterans at this and point. Go back into we the blitz. We proved it all season. Let them disseminate. Ah, I thought, no! 
I thought that was a really good play too. That's fine. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. They're gonna run this. Now they're not. Uh, let's go to a man to man. Oh, what are they doing now? They're gonna run it again. Play action. It's her. Oh, that that. Oh no, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just fucking fell. That could have been an interception if I didn't control it at all. Who's who's covering over here? You? On first and ten, Herbert. Over the middle, it's complete, and he'll be hauled down at about the thirty-yard line. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Oh, nice. Oh, he as he threw it there, oh no. Up incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. All right, this is a pretty... Nice, that, that's a no really big deal. Okay. You get an interception, that would be huge. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping oh. the run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right That's back tough. And finally down Two good stops. Dislocated shoulder, so he's done seven. for the playoff. Last play they got stopped at the line. Different story here over 20 yards. That's unfortunate. Now a handoff to the nice. And to I don't know what I have to pull back on. I don't feel like that's fair. Back to the eight yard line now. Herbert. Oh, he did not catch that. He did not catch that. Not willing to throw a flag, but. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Ah, uh, whatever. Not much you can do here. They'll run. Here's Janovich. The and got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Andy oh, Janovich smart play. Really smart. We gotta stop this. And the Steelers have reached. Gotta stop this. Come on. He just absolutely pancakes him, and he's open. And Two points. That Addison? And the formula there on the two point try to go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball Man, off. Man, backs against the wall all day. Space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there for the defense. What you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the oh, offense figured it out. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first all and right. ten. Got to get a good block here. That's a good block. Awesome. Let's exactly what I was thinking. Play action. See if Rice can get open. He's wide open. Oh, threaded the needle there. That linebacker jumped it probably would have been I don't like can I go to the right here. Ooh, nice. Rush, dude. Out of all the running backs that I've played with in Madden, this is the best, the best running back. Oh my god. That's why he makes plays like that. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Good blocks. Good blocks as a touchdown. Let's go. That's huge. Tying it up. 
Extra point splits the uprights, and we are all tied. Big play. Excellent running. Gonna just. Oh. J what? What's going on? There we go. Jump to next play. There we go. Hopefully that puts Najee Harris back in. Yeah, it does. I don't know why he gets fucking subbed out. So weird. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Kick. Oh, I thought that was a pick, bro. I thought that was a pick. Oh, it's so. It's tough. To stay in this formation. Yep, they're gonna throw it. This might be a play action. Oh, damn. It's okay. I literally have to be perfect because I cannot stop them defensively. Here's Herbert. Good pick. Good pick. Oh, that is fucking monstrous. Woo! Cam Smith, who hasn't done really anything all year, except get cooked. An unbelievably large play right there. This is a defense that likes to mix up and disguise coverages, but it did end up being one of their main packages, the nickel, that pulled them that time. And they made the most of the miscue. Excellent. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Steeler <sighs> offense play. set to All regain right. possession. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, All right. and put together a nice drive? The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Uh, no, no, no. We rush. We rush for sure. Herbert now. Looking middle and that's complete. Okay. And get this down to around the 47 yard line. Addison having a pretty Looking good game. Again on second down. Herbert. Oh, he overthrew him thanks to the rush. So, 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 quiet. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Good girl, Bubba. You have been a great pup today. Uh huh. Here you go, sweetie. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Sorry. And it's third down at two. Sorry, fellow viewer. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Oh, he got it though. Yeah. The obby's down. Good girl, Sozo. Uh, let's go into man coverage. No blitz. Just the original four. I think that I actually want to go into the zone now. I don't think I got it off in time. Yep. I knew they were gonna slant too. You saw a man cover switch to a fucking a crossing route. Pectoral strain, let's keep him. Alright, this is a run. Or a play action. Run. Ah. Oh my god, are you serious? Like I said, the... From the fucking previous Darnell Washington play. It's exactly what the CP does. That's really rough. That's fine now. If we can just score here. And that will tie our game here in the third. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kicks away. This one fielded at the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Getting set to go again as we look at the back. Elijah Rush, the probably again. the greatest running back yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone that again. I have ever That's used. Tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? 
the ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. Oh, uh, if I just got we'll through that hole, it would have been a huge, huge, huge play. Go here. Let's... I don't like... I don't really like this play. Uh, ah, he biffs it. This is not the time. Not the time to be making errant throws. Oh, I think Mingo might be able to break off for here. See if anybody follows him. Nope. Excellent. That's a huge play. A third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Okay, tied. Going into the last quarter. One quarter two and two. Right to survive round one. <sighs> Back now, just right. east of Manhattan in Brooklyn. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. On first down. Rush. Good round. Six yards, yeah. Yards on the ground for him so far. Okay. Oh, oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? I think I actually just want to run this again. Yeah, that was a really good decision. He's so good. Twelve yards there and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size. This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm looking at this oh. guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming Do up. Do a play action. Darnell has been D pretty good this game. Fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Okay, I saw that coming. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game. On That's good. Now he gets involved in the passing done pretty game. soon, then. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's brought down. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a okay. pickup of 14. Yes. Rush. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bulls answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Okay. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. Can we stop them? The kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh. And the Steelers set to take the field. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team, as you just noted, on the road. So that means they've carried that mentality with them throughout. Oh, what a catch. Right? Wow. Focus, yet still find the fun in it. How great is this, guys? Look at the spot we're in right now. And then okay. go to your top players, call the plays that they run best. Yeah, sort of controlling their own destiny, but this place has been loud. Not going to be easy. Oh. And will be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I can't believe the Panthers lost in the first round. Their team was, like, basically unstoppable. It's a running play. Run oh, was, no, no. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They run again with uh, Foreman. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. The San Francisco is a good, I think, but Here's first and ten. let's get a cover going. Okay, yeah, this might be a run. Oh, they're just switching the deep. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get, get to him, get to him. Here's oh. 
No, he does this all the fucking time. Dude. And they're gonna work this down to about the 32-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way down. Okay, what are we looking at here? Openings. Let's do a cover sky. <laughs> Throwing on first down. No, they're taking both of my guys here. And he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Okay. Just, we we need so many upgrades in the offseason defensively. We're we so bad. Crazy bad. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line, facing a second and six. I don't, I'm not even going to. Oh, what a play. God damn, dude. Gonna. You know, I did get it so you can play college teams. There's no. It, it's not a college team. It's a. Uh, it's an. You like change your location with your regular team. Um. So you choose being an owner, and then throughout the year it'll give you prompts to relocate, and you can change your. Uniforms, your um, city, and your name. So I went with the Brooklyn Bulls. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. But this isn't a college team. I, I don't think so, at least. Is there Brooklyn Bulls for yeah, college? I don't think one. so. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over Okay, all right. This is he the is biggest drive. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just gotta have a By far. Space every time his number is called. Because he doesn't play Pretty decent run. any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive uh, runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Oh, well, that's pretty good defense. Alright. Let's try to run it. They'll keep it on the ground. Rush. Flag if it's fucking holding, bro. Takes it across the 40 yard line. Holding. Ha! That's rough. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might right. have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Nice lead. Okay. And that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. I like what I'm seeing from them yeah. here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand I don't, the I don't want to be too risky. To be but rush. I feel Go like this could be... You know what? Let's let's actually do the nice play position. action. I think Mango could actually game. break off for a touchdown here. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, and he fucks in the We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it down. Field, but the coverage was tight there. No, it was a it completely overthrow. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. The play action oh, fake. shit. To throw. Oh, no. He couldn't reach back for it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge oh, that one. Christ. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. All Maybe right. It's probably going to be right. The arm there. The leg's still there. This has been a tough oh, game. Oh, they're covering good. Yep. Yeah, now the Fuck. Third down throw there, there is nothing I can do. I have to punt it away. Defensively, mission accomplished. And now, with under three to go, they may be the last team holding the football. They may very well be the last team holding the football. Unless, of course... You're facing a group that is really aggressive offensively and may want to take a gamble, but theoretically, you've done your job now. You should get the ball back on a punt, but I'd be alert for a fake. On first down, it's Herbert. Hurts over the middle. All right, that wasn't bad. So the completion good for six yards, and yeah, that will bring up second down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. 
See if we can stop him. Throwing again on second down. Herbert. Oh, if we get him. Oh, he's open. And out of bounds. Yes. It, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, okay. but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Herbert. Oh, good spin. Oh, that's big. We gotta get. We can't let them get field goal range. Oh no! 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 Oh my God, dude! I actually, yeah, that's that's probably the end of that. We gotta start using timeouts now too. Harris running straight ahead and right. get him down right around the 16. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Again, it's Harris on second down. I mean, it's there's right it's possible. It's very possible. If they just get the field goal, we'll have to storm down without any timeouts. Oh, it's, we can't stop them. That's it. That's the end of the game. That's rough. Wow, dude, we totally... It, it's all my fault, too. So I, I player iconed on the guy who was guarding him. But that's it. That's game. What? Now the Steelers use the first of their three The Steelers timeouts. are calling timeout? Why are they calling timeout? Over 30 ticks to go in the football game. I'm so confused. On second down, this is Harris. He got back up. That is insane. Now another timeout called for by the offense. Now what are they doing? Just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Oh, wait, there's a shot. There's still a chance. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth. It's possible. Feel good now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Okay. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll right. start things out at the 25. The situation we have to offensively as follows. Down on the scoreboard. At okay. time, a huge factor. Oh shit. They've got to travel to full go. Go, 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 go. Oh, man, again, just like the last time. Well, the Steelers, the Steelers won. Great season, though. We overachieved big time. I don't think we even deserved our record. Fair and square. Well, that ended for them. We got a lot of issues to address to be proud of in the off season. The next season. But I will say this. Overall, I feel like this is literally the best game he ever played. No interceptions. Not great completion, but just overall good. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I gotta, um. It's tough, man. Well, off season time. Get to see dev trait upgrades and. <clears throat> Shattered dreams. But our contract was extended. 
Let's see how the rest of the the rest of the playoffs go. Genuinely interested. So we have the Steelers and the Chiefs. The Bills and the, the Raiders took care of the Jaguars. The Cowboys beat the Commanders only by three. All right. Um, let's see how that goes. The Chiefs take care of the Steelers. The Raiders decimate the Bills. The Packers beat... I don't know who's beaten the Buccaneers, to be honest. 15-2. and two. Trevor, Trevor Lawrence is an X-Factor now. Ooh, we get Pro Bowl stuff. I want to see who if our, any of our guys made it. Um, so... It is going to be the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. A little rematch. So oh, this is going to be a good game. Very cool. Trey Lance is the quarterback of the Chiefs. Pro Bowl roster. We are the AFC. Okay. Prescott and Brush is a Pro Bowler. No surprise there. Rice is a Pro Bowler. Darnell Washington is a pro bowler. I don't think any of our linemen are going to be. We're defensive. Herbig is a pro bowler. That's a big deal. Um, Banks and Brents. So we had a lot of... That's so cool. Um, I feel like we should have had... It's pretty good. All right. Let's see if we get any dev trait stuff. Let's see. Elijah Ross plus three, Rasheed Rice plus three, Deontay Banks plus two. That's pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can get speed, and he's an X factor. See if I can get more speed here. Juke move, ball carrying vision. Give me a plus one speed. Ugh. Let's do power back here. All right. And we got a superstar X Factor running back. So she is probably just star. If he gets a plus speed, dude. Come on, give him, give him a plus speed. Ah, still good. Superstar, he went up from normal to superstar. How did that happen? Um, progression history, let's see. So... Wide receiver of the year and offensive player of the year. Plus star dev. I don't see... I don't see how he got the superstar, but I'll take it. That's very awesome. And Deontay Banks probably got best cornerback. With nine fucking interceptions. Superstar. Excellent. Let's see if anybody else got any. If our quarterback got star, I'd shit my pants. Nope. Darnell Washington with X Factor. That's wow. So we got three upgrades on offense and on defense. He didn't. He got Superstar X Factor and Herbig didn't. Brents and Banks go up. How did Herbig not get fucking Superstar X Factor? Even Brown got a dev upgrade. Wow. Very cool. Good shit. Tyree Wilson, X Factor. Gotta love it. Well. Alright. Crazy dude.
It's so nuts. So let's the Chiefs. Wow. The Chiefs are the champs, even in a fucking Super Bowl or a fan fantasy draft. Elijah Brush gets offensive rookie of the year. Wow, they that's crazy. Joe Burrow gets MVP. Well, <clears throat> nobody of nobody of significance. All right, into the off season. Huge upgrades. We need a defense upgrades. So, Hampton, I'll let go. Coburn, I'll let go. Howden, I'll let go. And Winters, I'll let go. I don't care about any of those guys. Free agency is kind of interesting. I am looking to make a trade here. So, I want to see... Because apparently... My next year's pick is going to have good value. So if I go all in, look for somebody with two first this year, I think that would be the best call. Does anybody have two first? Mm, pick five is pretty good. No, no. Might just be our guys. One, yeah. Might just be the Texans. We don't have our first round pick. They, the Texans actually have it. So let me see if I can get... It's kind of shooting for the stars here, but... Okay. What if I take the two out and it's just the two first? What if... What if you give me pick 22, 39, and 71? I'll be happy to trade. If you could improve the offer a little more. What if I give you Jake Hayner? Would that move the needle? It would. So we get a first, second, and third this year for our next year's first which I don't think will be round one pick one, so I don't really feel too bad. We haven't had a first round pick in two years, so now we have one first round pick, two seconds, and two thirds. Fuck yeah, that's a big, 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 big trade. Saquon Barkley, Damian Pierce is a free agent. Dobbins, McCoy could be a nice add, but I think probably do most of my damage in the draft. I don't even see anybody of Cisco's kind of interesting. Ernest Jones. Uh, nah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna draft somebody. Geno Smith is a free agent. Who who's gonna be the fucking sad soul? Yeah, I think I'm good. Wonder wonder where Saquon's gonna go. Kinda interested how these are gonna pan out. Um no free agent signings. But I do want to recap to see where people go. Definitely want a defensive tackle in the draft.
Okay. Free agency. He is going to the Falcons. Wow. So that takes a huge... The, the Ravens just got significantly worse. Kareem Hunt to the Bills. Damien Pierce to the Dolphins. Hooker to the Rams. Gasecki. Wow. Sorry, I know you're busy. Nah, you're good. <clears throat> well, that's it's pretty awesome. Okay. Um this is important. Okay, so he's definitely not falling to us. Pick twenty two. This wide receiver is pretty interesting. Um, Luke Lucas, what a name. This right guard's pretty good. This left end is pretty cool. So he's 21. Decent speed. He's not a great athlete, but he's got A tackle, B power moves. He's someone to look after. This guy. Oops. Let's see. Power moves, block shedding. Great, good, great. This is this player is really good. I will definitely scout LaShawn Curse. This guy I really want. Rashad Burner. I haven't seen his uh, physicals. Good, great, decent, good, solid, great. Not super good, but I mean, I want to see his talent, to be honest. Like, his full talent. Um, how about Mooney? Elite speed. This guy's a monster. Oh, I want him. Rashad Werner, and wait, and then Sean Kiris. There we go. Okay. All about the defense. And to the draft we go. Very interested to see who the, the Lions pick here. <sighs> Alright. I'm guessing probably the corner. If I were a betting man. I don't know. Wow. I'd pick, I'd pick the quarterback, I think. Okay, lineman. There goes the cornerback. They just got somebody really good, I think. It's now the Tony Pugh. Justin Gabriel. On the clock now, Brian the Burgess. Houston, oh, is that that wide receiver? The, the quarterback gets picked at the... the oh, that's probably a good pair. He'll actually start. On the clock now, it's the Miami Dolphins. Next up, the okay. Oh, okay, that's not my guy. That's not my guy. Luke Lucas went. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. Now on the clock. John Huff. And now on the clock. It's the Mike Arizona Sheffield. Eagles. Okay, we're looking good so far. Next up, the commanders are on the clock. Levi Huff went. He was probably super good. Okay. Who will we use? LaShawn Curse is a top five talent. No fucking brainer we pick him. Unbelievable. Let's go. Holy shit. LaShawn Curse, dude. Welcome to the team. Top five talent. Really glad I scouted him. Wow. Okay. Um. 
Carolina Panthers now on the clock. With the next selection, just don't want my um. I don't want my middle linebacker to go, but I don't think he will. Speaking of, so he's a round one. Ta so this guy's a round one talent. This is definitely who I'm going to try to get. He's a round one. Okay, so those are definitely the the three that I want. Um, can it last? Will the middle linebacker fall to the second round? Or the outside linebacker? Okay. Where is he on the draft, draft board? Oh, I think he's gonna fall to me. Yeah, dude, I think he's. I think we're good. I'm a little worried though. I don't want to miss out on him. Let's, if we have to. Nah, nah, I can do it. Okay. Okay. I'm shitting my pants, dude. Let's trade. No, well. Who do the, what do the Colts need? Let's just. Okay. Are now on the clock. Yes. <sighs> I almost traded up. All right, Rashad Verner, and then hopefully Josh Mooney is available to us. This guy just looks insane. Great speed, great acceleration. He's got. Hit power B, A pursuit, A stamina, A play recognition, A zone coverage, A tackle, B awareness, B catching. This dude is fucking insane. Excellent. Alright, where are we picking? Pick 22. I think I'm just going to let it ride. Okay. Um, and there he is. There's Mooney. So, A zone coverage, C tackle, C pursuit, Z block shedding, elite speed, great everything else, and decent strength. And he's a normal dev, dude! Oh, wow, okay. Um. Shocking. Alright, what's next? Um, what are we at? Round three? Ooh. Is that lineman I was thinking about? 21. A impact blocking. Either B or A awareness. B pass and B run block. This guy's an athlete. Excellent. Doesn't hurt to get another lineman. Okay. Middle Brooks looks cool. Elite speed. Oh, I don't need another defensive tackle. Free safety. Run support. Poor speed. No. Hmm. Ooh, this the center looks good. Um, we're looking at here. That defensive tackle could be a an end. Elite speed. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's. Anybody else? Looking good. What is this guy looking like? Again, solid everything. Ah, the power moves are a little concerning. Why did I like him? Great, nah. Yeah. 
God, yeah, I think it's gotta be that DT. Just overall, extremely solid. What about the quarterbacks? I know Reggie Pitts, I was kinda interested in him. He's a strong arm, and he has round three or four talent on day three. I'll see if I can get him in the fifth round. Yeah, um, so I'll go with the DT. See if I can find a role for him. Hidden Dev, 78 speed, 89 strength. It's pretty good. 21 years old also. And we don't pick until round five. See if the quarterback's there. Not the strong arm one. The strong arm one is gone. Uh, this guy is here. Three to four. 22. He's got good throw power. This guy is just kind of ass, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're sticking with the quarterback we have. Unfortunately. Okay. We have... This guy's kind of interesting. Not bad. Elite speed. I think we'll grab him. That quarterback's there in the in this round. I'll give him a shot. He is not. So, what is he looking like? Not very good. Okay. Um. Ooh. This guy probably is the pick. Yeah, let's pick him. Hidden Dev, wow. Round six. And that's it. Look at the draft recap. 76 on him. 75 on Werner. Mooney was 72. Wilson, 74. Middlebrook, 71. Pretty good draft. See what we're looking at. I bet that cornerback is fucking eight. Yep. Wow. Let's see who the best. So... Two cornerbacks were the best. Then Curse, who I got on, at 22. Oh, that's that motherfucker I wanted to draft. Werner up there. Pretty, pretty phenomenal draft. Right, let's see. Keep Fant. Keep Rush. Rice is so good. Darnell Washington. Ooh, that's a tough one, I think. I think I want to move him to right tackle. And move one of these fools to right guard.
Okay. Maguire. I'm probably going to switch. I'm probably going to make one of those people I drafted a pass rusher. Sean Curse is nasty. 97 strength. Here, what are we looking at here? Maybe it could be him. Um, Mooney is here. That's good. Strength is 72. I like the idea of him being the either the left. Let's see what he looks like at left outside linebacker. Sweep. Um, not bad. Totally okay with that. And I'm thinking, who we need right end? I'm thinking since he's fast, we could put him at right end. See how that. Mm. He's faster than Adabaror. Stronger. And has hidden dev, right? Yeah. I'll try that out. So left end will be Werner. Herbig and Mooney. Tyree Wilson. So he's a rusher, right? You know what I could do? Is I could make... Nah, 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 nah. I like the... I feel like he's a better defensive end, though. And I could just move... Uh, I could keep Werner at the right outside linebacker and move Mooney to the left outside linebacker. Just curious how that would look. How does he, does he get better? No, he gets worse, so I think We'll keep it like that then. Let's check the, see if our schemes would be better somewhere else. Base 3-4. I think we're looking at more of a 4-3 now. Base 3-4 and base 4 mm. I kind of like 4-3 here though. Just so we can utilize our good defensive tackles. Yeah. I think we'll go 4-3. Generally, focus on generating pressure on the QB with the defensive line. It includes the 3-4. Base 4-3.
We'll try that. Look, see if we have anything better on here. No, vertical zone run it is. All right, let's check out how this looks. I would like Wilson to start. I'd like Rice to still be the slot receiver. Um, let's, he's a scheme fit. Let's start him. And Herbig is injured. But we have a full development trait defense now. Um, mm, that's fine. That's fine by me. All right. Hoping for some upgrades or a training camp standout. Okay, there's one. Nick Cross, nice. Let's do zone coverage for him. Spencer fan goes up. Nice. He will officially be a 70. One to throw power. Oh, shit. So he's a 96 throw power now. Pretty good medium accuracy. Not very good deep. Still, I feel like has a lot of potential. Um, let's spend some points. In XP, because I like the idea of free safety, strong safeties. Offensive lineman, halfback, but I think... I want to go defensively because that's where we're lacking. Let's see. Okay, great. What? There you are.
Line looks good. Defense looks great. Like, really good. I'll let Mims be the slot. Um, I actually want him to be that. Tyree Wilson. Yeah, this is going to be sweet. Papa. And then Mooney after that. Okay. Check out the rosters. Starting with the Bears. They got a quarterback, right? Normal dev, that sucks for them. Scheme fit is awful, too. This is going to be a bad team. Dak Prescott's getting older. Smith is way better. Superstar for Russell Gage, wow. What is he a? He's a star. The Bills. With Bosa. Superstar for Waddle. Hmm. Interesting team. Gary Mixon. Do they have a quarterback? Oh. Trevor Lawrence is at 92 now. Worse and wow. It's a good team. Who fungas on this team too? Okay. That's our team. Best player is Elijah Rush. We got lots of good dev traits now. Cardinals with Nick Emery got superstar dev. Good for him. Tyreek Hill, Nelson, Bryce Young, 92. Wow. These defending champs. Trey Lance did not get an upgrade. Wow. Aiden Hutchinson has 94. Justin Simmons, Ayuk. Mooney is an 87. This team is fucking psychotic. Emmanuel Forbes is a superstar. The Colts with Zach Wilson still. Nah, it's a mad team. We got Joey Porter though. Ooh. Just normal dev too. The Commanders with Will Levis. Looks like a good team. Yeah, they got some guys. It's a deep ass team. BJ Oljolari is a superstar X Factor now. The Cowboys who have They signed Geno Smith, so Kenny Pickett won't be the starter. Wow. Wow, okay. Is Bijan starting? Thank God. He's had, over the two years, he's had like no run. About fucking time. He's about to go crazy. Connor Porter is their quarterback. Normal dev. Did he start last year? He did not. Who is their starter? Aaron Rodgers. It was Aaron Rodgers. Asante Samuel is a superstar. 
Etienne and Pierce has a crazy running back core. Trayvon Walker is a superstar. Pierce Johnson is an 85. Hmm. Interesting. The Eagles. Oh. Oh, that's... Rest in peace. Oh, they got John Huff. No, that's not the guy. Hmm. The, oh my god. Austin Eckler and Saquon? And so, oh my god. This team is fucked, dude. You got fucking Saquon, Hardman, and Justin Jefferson, and shit. And Darren Waller, wow, okay. It's fucking good offense. The 49ers with Jalen Hurts. Higgins is awesome. Jalen Carter is coming into his own. Has Christian McCaffrey always been here? The Giants with Jacoby Brissett, that is... So sad. Let's see if he got star. He is still normal. Still young though. With Jamar Chase. Jamil Dean, Mikai Becton. Um the they still have Deshaun, unfortunately. <coughs> they have like one of the Okay. I swear to God they had a high draft pick. Whoa. A superstar X Factor. Wow. Is he gonna get run? He is. So he is oh my god, he has ninety nine speed. If I ask you, huh, that's a hefty return. Wow, it's wild. The Lions had the first pick, and they picked this guy, right? Yes. Interested to see his development. This is not a bad team. But they already have Luke Van Ness. Who... Oh, he's right end. Damn, that could be a pretty good... Alright. The Packers with Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Thomas, Aaron Jones... DJ Moore, Ed Oliver, Odell Beckham, Roderick Jones, the Joe Burrow, Godwin is 93 now, Pat Fryer moves, oh wow, this is still a great team, is if Jackson Smith, dude, I gotta save him. A two, a four, and a seven. Let's let let's talk. Let's talk. I will give you. I'll give you Josh Downs. Um. Why is he a seventy-two? You need a left guard specifically. I only have one. 
I'll give you downs and a two and a four next year for Jackson. So he, you fucking idiots, because you weren't going to use him. That made our team so much better. Didn't get any run or experience. Anthony Richardson, Nick Chubb, and Jalen Ramsey on the same team. Miles Murphy is on here. The Raiders with Lamar Jackson, Josh Jacobs, Quinn and Williams, and Sauce Gardner, and Amon Ross St. Brown, Chase Young, Joku, oh my fuck. Like the best team I've ever seen. Sheesh, okay. Carson, Sertain, Cooper, Montgomery, and CJ Stroud. He did not get a dev up. Ridiculous. The Ravens, they lost their quarterback and they lost their running back. They are fucked. What's wrong, Zoe? Jair Alexander. What's wrong, Zoe? Will Anderson. Hmm. The Steelers. Who are crazy good. Did Sanchez give a de get a dev up? Nope. And the Titans. With Brock Purdy still. Kayvon Thibodeau. And last but not least, the Minnesota Vikings with an aging Russell Wilson. I would start this guy for them. Devin Singletary. Hmm. Top five in the NFL. Jefferson, Parsons, Bosa, Jacobs, and Burrow. Nick Chubb, Garrett, McCaffrey, Ramsey, Warner, Hill, Donald. Mahomes is down low. Alright. That's that. Wow, that defense is good. <sighs> okay. So. I fucks with that. I would like Middlebrooks to start. And Jackson Smith and Jigba is... Oh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a fun year. All right.